we could play a lot of what if about a lot of things and my feeling on it really has always been if, inter if unemployment goes to 20 or 25 percent, which I really doubt is going to happen in our world as we know it, but if that was to happen, uh, I don't think you have to worry about the value of your piece of real estate. You have to worry about putting food on the, fam on the table for your family tomorrow. Not, not today, maybe, but certainly tomorrow. It's going to be a whole different world as we see it. Uh, but the other side of the coin is, and just talk about this building right here. Um, this building right here, <coughs> because of its occupancy rate, is such that, you know, and we think that we're going to end up owning this building fairly shortly, but it's such that the occupancy rate is extremely low, and that's why we can buy it as inexpensively as we can. Well, because of the price that we're going to buy this building at, when going, that building right there, the Copper Whopper, um, is renting, the, the, their advertising rates at 22, 20, what is the rate they're advertising right now on that building? $23 a foot. It's Class B office building. This Class B office building. Same comparable space. And they're looking at 20, and they've, they've, they're at 82% at or 81% occupancy. I mean, very, very high for this marketplace. And they're still advertising the available space at 81 or, or at uh, 22 or $23 a square foot. If we buy this building at the price that we have it, <coughs> uh, at that we're working at it for, we can rent space in this building for 12 bucks a foot and we will make money on it. So if we've got space at 12 bucks a foot, they're trying to get 22, we're going to fill this building at 12 bucks a foot and even in terrible times, there are people who are going to be renting space. There's still law firms, there's still architects and accounting firms. There's accounting firms that are making a fortune uh, working the bankruptcies through for the people who can't, you know. So, so the yeah, sure. No, I'm I'm sure I'm not trying to be facetious about this. So so the space that's going to be rented is in that kind of an economy, <coughs> the most economical space that's available. And if this space compares to that space from the standpoint of the quality and the um, uh, uh, aesthetics of the space, and we're at 12 and they're at 23, what space is going to fill first? So, so the bottom line is there's, when you work in even a bad economy. Can you make money if you do it right? Yes. Yeah. And one of the things that you have to understand, whether it's commercial and residential, you have very little control over underlying economic factors because it's a perception thing. It's got nothing to do with real world economics. Whereas in the commercial arena, a lot of what we do is based on real world economics. Now, the price of a building may vary even in real world economics because of the cap rate. Somebody's willing to take a 6% return and other people want a 10% return. Well, that has a big impact on the value of a piece of property. Uh, but the value of the piece of property is still a function of one thing and one thing only. And that's the income that the property produces. Does that make sense? So one of the reasons, and <coughs> the great thing about this business, in my opinion, if you're in the residential market and you're, you're fortunate enough to be working in a rising marketplace and you can buy a few houses at a good price, you're going to make money on those houses. Is that a good deal? Uh, okay, but what are you doing? Are you investing? What are you doing? You're speculating. You're speculating. Well, that, I mean, Vegas is a place... Hmm? Well, and, and, and that's exactly the problem. It's a speculative thing because even if you rent it, you're going to lose money every month. Uh, whereas whether you, were, whether you buy this building at a 6 cap or a 10 cap, it's going to kick off cash every month. It's not going to kick off nearly as much at a 6 cap as it will at a 10 cap. But if you've got a building that's kicking off money every single month regardless of the economy, how long can you ride that economy? Yeah, I mean, even if you've got capital invested and it's not an infinite return, you're still getting a return indefinitely. And that's the greatest thing about court. We're not playing with, well, you know, commercial foreclosures. They're coming and I get on the commercial foreclosure. Well, that, that, there may be a, some element of truth in that for the next year or two or three. Not nearly what everybody's making it out to believe, but there may be some element of truth in that for the next year or two or three. But the, 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 the cash flow... Um, basis that we talk about investing with is going to be in place for the next 20 or 30 or 40. Which way would you rather go?